The Boeing F-8 Hornet is one of them. The most capable military aircraft in the World War began operating in 1983, but the Hornet made even better with its introduction. F-8 Super Hornet entering service in the US in 1999. The Super Hornet is what it is based on, on the original Hornet, but took it to next level thanks to the F-A-A-T and F-A-H-F versions. Hornet that offers a larger payload and more advanced weapon systems, while Super Hornet production will end in 2025. This Boeing aircraft is still playing important role in the US military. This plane supports the more advanced F-35 Lightning II and, of course, became the star plane in Top Gun Maverick on. In 2022, improvements to the new Super Hornet, the new F-18 Super Hornet, specifically the Block 3 variant, offers some significant improvements compared to its predecessor, advanced cockpit system, equipped with a state-of-the-art glass cockpit, using a large touchscreen that provides superior situational awareness pilots and simplified interface management, enhanced networking capabilities. This fighter jet includes new distributed targeting processor connected to the network and tactical targeting network technology allows fast data exchange with other aircraft and upgraded military assets. However, Block 3 version incorporates design changes, reducing the aircraft's radar cross-section thus make it better, more difficult to detect by enemy radar. Expanded range operational range has been improved thanks in part to an adjusted fuel tank that reduces obstacles and allows the aircraft to carry additional fuel without reducing its load capacity. The longevity of the airframe has been extended from 6,000 hours to 10,000 hours to ensure that the aircraft may remain operational for some time, decades with care and a proper update F-8 Super Hornet could bring more ammunition compared to the Hornet while the Super Hornet, previously, which offers a 41% increase in mission range and extra endurance of 50% charge, that the Super Hornet can carry is more compared to Heritage Hornets. The Super Hornet can carry the maximum 17,750 pounds super external regulation. The Hornet has 11 weapons stations, including two additional wing storage stations and will support Various weapons including the A9 Sidewinder, AM7 Sparrow and A120. I'm an air to a guided missile weapon. Air to ground like the Harpoon AG in M84. Extended response standoff ground attack missiles. Kpu 1GB U51 AGM-88 high speed anti-radiation missile. AGM-65 Maverick MK. 760 and 58 C combined air to surface. Standoff missiles meanwhile, the legacy Hornet has maximum payload of 14,000 pounds, which means there is an increase of almost 4,000 pounds for. This extra charged version of the Super Hornet, very useful, thus creating the Super Hornet become a more capable aircraft, especially with increased range and mission entrance do not. That's all. But when it takes off, the Super Hornet, airborne and nearly 1,000 feet smaller, of the legacy Hornet at a speed of approx 20 knots lower than the original Hornet. This matter is an extraordinary and impressive thing for a, an airplane that is an evolution of the original Hornet. Earlier models, aircraft power was supplied by 2F414GE 400 turbofan engines from General Electric, the machine is advanced derivatives of the GF400 and four engines installed in Hornets. The air inlet is enlarged to provide increased airflow into the engine provided by each machine. 22,000 pounds thrust width. Afterburn provides maximum speed over map. The 1.8 Super Hornet has proven its worth. Many times the Super Hornet has greatly proving his prowess in battle since introduced.